Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here in Tokoname, Japan at this ceramic pot store and they it's it's like a farm. Look at all these ceramic pots, really amazing. And I got mine from this place. And just check out this view right here. I showed this to you in one of my previous videos, but it's just stunning, beautiful. So I want to show you something. There's Japanese rice fish here and there's just a whole variety of them. I'm going to start off with this huge pond right here, this ceramic pot. It's beautiful. You can see the water is a bit green, but there's a lot of rice fish in this one. Different colors. Kind of hard to see them, but they are darting around in here. This here is Hydrocotyl verticillata, also known as the mushroom plant. And you'll see a whole lot more of that later. But right here you've got a smaller type with some little goldfish in there just sticking their heads up and then right here these guys are just beautiful look at the colors on those it's like a silvery bluish color and one of them even has eggs it's carrying eggs wow beautiful some huge goldfish in this one these are the ranchu goldfish and look this white one there is my favorite if you see it's got this orange color lip kind of like it has lipstick on but yeah that's my favorite one super cute and these ones here are pretty big you can see the size of the pot pretty large too here's another one the water is a bit green in this one but you'll see some smaller goldfish there's a whole bunch in this pond you just can't really see them but yeah really nice see they're starting to come out now all right, let's start over here and work our way down. Um, so these ones I've been told are bred by professional rice fish breeders and just look at the colors. And these ones are pretty large size as well, so really nice. Over here you've got some red ones and wow, these are like kois. You can see they're mixed colors, red with black, really nice. They look amazing and all these are so simply set up. You can see there's no substrate in them. Just a few floating plants. But yeah, look at the colors on these. Can you see them? It's amazing. And then over here you've got more. Some white ones as well. Really nice. If you look from the top down, they kind of look like miniature kois. But, they're yeah, really nice. Oh, this one's called the Kohaku. Look at these, like a stunning reddish-orange color. Incredible. Camera doesn't do it justice if you see this in real life. The colors are just insane. And then here you've got a nice silvery blue color type. Look, there's just a whole bunch of them swimming around. And it's nice how they swim towards the top, kind of like guppies. So many people don't know the difference between guppies and rice fish. Um, guppies are live bearers. They give birth to live young. Whereas Japanese rice fish, also known as the medaka rice fish, they lay eggs. So they'll scatter their eggs onto like the roots of this plant and then the babies will hatch out. Over here we've got a couple. Wow, look at the colors. Just shimmering. Let's see if there's some under here. Yeah, look at that. This one right here probably one of my favorites just look how intense the red coloration is but I hope you guys can see how red that is like, these are amazing the whole body of this fish is red it's stunning I think this is what maybe around four US dollars for one around there I think yeah beautiful 
And then check these guys out. These these remind me of the purple Harlequin Rasboras. They're kind of like a purplish black color. Really beautiful. And then these ones. These are called the Marine Blues. Like a very light blue tint on them. And a platinum white color. And check this out, this is one of their hides. So when they get scared, they'll hide underneath. Look, there's some in there. And here's some hydrocodal verticillata. Hi, Check this out right here. There's a hydrocarbon verticillata in there as well. And then my favorite little goldfish. Look how beautiful that is. The red finish. Hmm? <laughs> oh yeah, look how many babies there are in this one. All those little small babies. So yeah, super easy to breed them. Just put a few floating plants. Um, a few plants that have roots, root structures, so easy to breed fish and very hardy too check this one out this one is awesome look at how the hydrocodal is just growing out like that crazy really nice and then of course there are rice fish in here as well sometimes they're not as easy to see because they blend in with the colors of the the pot so and it's still very nice and look at this design really cool so this is like a pottery shop so you can have a whole range of colors and shapes and sizes of these bowls look here this is like the type that i got so really nice interesting store if you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new here short little video today but i got myself a hydrocodal verticillata to add to my mini pond and check this out there's so many more around here look at this look at how clear the water is in this one look at this there's nothing in it but it's super clear i think there's some in here oh yeah so many little babies in there yeah if you guys enjoyed it hit the thumbs up and i will see you guys next time